The paper presenting today is graph anomaly detection with bi-level optimization. First, let me introduce what is graph-based anomaly detection. As we all know, that relational data could be modeled as a graph, such as product reviews and financial scenarios. And the goal of the GAD is to find nodes deviate significantly from the normal nodes, such as spam reviews or fraud transactions. And the motivation of our paper is that GAD faces with loss rivalry. What is loss rivalry? We, we observe that um, the normal nodes and the anomalies have exactly opposite loss curves, which is separately highlighted around the maximum and the minimum of loss curves. As we can see from the same color here and here, here and here, we see that normal nodes and anomaly nodes have opposite loss curves, which makes it hard to which makes the model hard to converge. And we think the main reason for loss rivalry is that we apply same aggregation mechanisms for nodes with different classes, but similar neighbor label distribution. What is neighborhood label distribution? We count the normal nodes and the number of anomalies around the center node. And here we have the uh, neighborhood label distribution for the center nodes. If you are interested in this part, please read our paper. And here's our method BioGN. The most, the most straightforward solution to loss rivalry is to separate nodes into mutually exclusive sets based on their classes and NRD. So the learning objective here is that given the input graph and the node feature, we apply a MLP to predict the NRD of the nodes and separate them into two mutually exclusive sets based on the prediction. And we will apply different mechan aggregation mechanism mechanisms to these two sets. And we elevate the problem of loss library and the model can converge. And here is the uh, elevation results. Uh, the first row is the initial figure uh, where the model suffers from loss library. And the left bottom is the golden separated loss, which means that we know all the lab we know the labels of all nodes and we have accurate nlds for all of the nodes and we can see if we separate two sets the loss is very smooth and in the right bottom uh, it's the true loss curve because the label of test nodes cannot be accessed so uh, the prediction error of nld will affect the, our model's performance but it's clear that the problem of loss library has, is elevated Thank you.